Back at you with another video from 80s Nut. Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, so this one here, this is the RT VS3 from Toshiba. It's a great unit. It's a big hitter, large, portable cassette player, or a synonymous name. This is the Walkman. Um, units made in Japan. Um, right around 80, I want to say 84, 85, right around there. Um, actually, it might be 86, but it's, it's right around, it's somewhere around the early 80s. Anyway, uh, early to mid 80s. Um, comes with the color sleeve. It's a good looking color sleeve. Uh, this was this was a big deal because this particular unit had the uh, radio tuner incorporated within the unit. Where before that, Toshiba would always have the a removable cassette, which was actually the AM/FM tuner that you'd have to insert in the cassette uh, slot in order to have your AM FM tuner. So this one here, this was a big deal for to have the radio tuner built in the unit. All right, so you've got the styrofoam case there. Let's open that bad boy up. You got your owner's manual. Just a few pages, I think it's like seven page owner manual that runs through the unit. Um, this unit is actually, I, I think this one's actually one of my new ones. You guys know I have hundreds of units. And uh, let's go through this real quick. The headphones look like they've, did, the, the headphone sponges deteriorated through time. And at some point in my life, I probably tossed those suckers out. Um, all right. So... Get this bad boy out. Really, really good looking unit. And it's 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 a brick. It's a brick. Um, so it's not just great for uh, for music and uh, it's great for uh, home defense, personal defense. You can literally kill someone throwing this sucker at them. <laughs> anyway, um, the uh, the unit has the forward and rewind buttons right on the front there. Uh, I wanted to start by talking about those because Toshiba for years has had the same problem with pretty much all of the units that have the forward and rewind buttons right on the face there. And that is if you open the thing up and the open button is right, or the switch is right on the side there, you pull that down, opens up. It's really good looking at the inside. Um, if you look, it's got nice anodized aluminum uh, surface with a polished backing there. But what I was going to let you know is these actually get pressed down and what ends up happening is that little plastic tab on the tip there, it's, it's, it's what actually holds the whole thing together, holds the spring in place. And they would always, always, I would say probably 50% of the units that I would check out to purchase um, they would actually be missing on both sides. They'd be missing, or at least one of them would be missing. And uh, that's that's a huge problem that, that they they had going. Um, for the longest time, they they chose either not to to deal with it. I, I'm sure the design engineers knew that these suckers were coming coming back, being returned, or or in they were coming loose, but. Um, but they they really didn't mess with it until later on. Um, okay, so anyway, that was that was it. the biggest issue that I had with this design, and even my smaller ones, which have that same thing, that was the biggest issue I had with them. Um, I I can fix them, and I fixed many of them, and I have spare parts for that. But it just it's 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 a poor design when it comes to that. None of the other manufacturers ever had issues like that be it Panasonic, Iowa, uh, Sony, it's especially not for the money they were asking and not for the, your top-end, high-end Japanese quality. So it was, this was pretty sad that, that this was happening. Um, okay, so when I should let you know that if you have this unit, don't just shut it, 
on the tab there. After some time, it wears the tab out, and in some cases, it actually snaps, severs right there, and uh, it, it breaks. And what you do is go ahead and push this down, right, as if you're opening it, and then let it go. And that way, it causes no stress. There's no tension, um, and there's no there's no resistance to the on that little tab. You're not going to end up uh, breaking it. So that's the way you should you should open it and close it every time. Um, pull it down. It's opened, right? And then don't don't shut it. Pull it down, then let it go. And that's the easiest way to open and close it. It has a jack, um, uh, female jack input there for the AC adapter, which is a uh, three volts. It has a battery indicator. I should more like a power indicator. You know, these never really work as true battery indicators. It's just a the a light and the the idea was that if the light is on, it's running and uh if it starts dimming your battery's running low, but it never really works very well. Um the coolest thing about this one that they were really pushing hard was that the uh, manual tuning is is built built into the unit. Um, let's see what else they got. It's got a removable belt clip, fairly large. You know, you definitely go jogging with this bad boy. Um, and I think that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Your phone, your headphone jack, right? Your, your volume, play, stop. But overall. Would I recommend having this bad boy in a collection? Absolutely. I don't think you should. You would have a collection that would be ever even come close to being complete without having your RT uh, VS, uh, your RT VS3 uh, in the unit. Um, anyway, that is pretty much it in a nutshell. There's not there's not much to run with on this one. Um, good unit clear playback and the uh, headphones are very very basic um, I, I really want to say that this was actually around uh, 84 uh, 84 85 on the on the year um, if you guys enjoyed the video please thumbs up and subscribe it really really would help I very much appreciate it and as you know there are hundreds of other videos that I have about the portable units, the Walkmans, the Discmans, the boom boxes. Please check them out. Um, enjoy them. If you have questions, hit me up. If you think that there's a certain Walkman or portable cassette player that that you want me to do a review on or, or just put it up and show a video of it, chances are I have it and uh, I have yet to make a video. But if you if you ask, I'll actually hunt it down and pull it out of my collection and make a video on it um, and it, 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 it could be anything I mean even even some of the uh, small mini boom boxes you know I have a huge collection on those and check out the history of of the history of Walkman and uh, and portable cassette players that I have on there too um, until then 80s not out <laughs>